Hello, welcome back guys to another video featuring the Audi. I thought today that we'll just take a step back from all the mechanical side of things because I'm wearing myself out doing all this stuff. I've basically got three cars which all need work and I'm just wearing myself down. It's not good for my mental health just constantly worrying about all these cars that I need to do work on. So we're gonna take a break from mechanical stuff and we're actually gonna install something to my daily which I'm actually gonna enjoy. I'm gonna notice a difference, I'm gonna use it every day. It's gonna make a world of difference to me on my commute to work. And that is to replace this radio with an aftermarket doubled in touchscreen one. This is the radio that was installed into this car when I bought it. This is part of the S-Line S upgrade with the uh, steering wheel controls. It didn't have cruise control, I installed that. Check out one of my other videos for an install of that. This is the kind of cool little aesthetic radio that was in this car. It looks very fancy, doesn't it? And it looks like, you know, like, it is cool. And I'll show you the coolest part of this is that if you press this button, that happens. But for some reason it doesn't stay out, so I can't actually put anything in. And I'm, I'm not even sure what's supposed to go in there. Is, like, is that an actual DVD player? Why do you not stay open, man? So that does that. It's got radio, obviously, which is all of this. It's got CDs, which I've been having to bum out. Some of the cars come with phones, which I'm glad mine didn't because it adds an ugly extension here, which you can't just delete. Navigation, which has currently got my address, so I'm gonna have to blow that out. It is cool because it shows up up here, like where you gotta go. Brief location of where I'm located. And it's cool, it's just very, very dated. And to type addresses in and that, it's not touchscreen. You have to use this little knobby wheel and it's just very awkward. How far out can I zoom on this actually? I'm gonna zoom all the way out and I can see everywhere. That's the map and then you got info, which I don't know what does. Traffic reports, car. See, but there's not actually a lot you can do with it. You can only play CDs. You can't have Bluetooth and you can't have an aux cable. So it's very limited on what it can do. To enjoy the most out of this, you have to put in your own CDs or you're stuck with radio stations like this. And what I love about it is that it's got the steering wheel controls. I don't want to lose that. But what I do need from a radio is maps, Bluetooth, Android Auto or whatever it's called. So that's what I'm after. And I've got a radio ready. I've got all the kit for it. So let's have a quick look at what I've got. And yeah, you've guessed it. This is the radio that I've got. I've had this one in my Golf, my Passat. Now I'm gonna be putting it into this. But it's not a simple upgrade. You can't just unplug the wires in the current car and plug them into that. So you need a bit of kit, which I'll link everything down in the description. Um, also, Bosler sent me some lights, which we're gonna be installing once we're done with this, so we'll test them out as well. Everything in this box is everything you need to be able to fit that radio into here. So if you are looking to install a similar radio into your Audi A4, everything's gonna be linked in the description. This is all from Enfig. This is really the only company you wanna get these bits from. Everything is supposed to fit super nice and it's supposed to just be easy plug and play install. So let's quickly run through what I've got. That's the cage to put the radio in. That I think is the front plate. So it looks and sits all nice and flush. As well as this thing here, that's also part of it somehow. I think this is just like mounting points. I'm not too sure if we need them or not. This is the main wiring harness that you're gonna need. This ensures that your wheel controls are gonna work, things like that. That is for the antenna because for some reason the antenna on that car is like double-sided. There's like two antennas on it. I don't know. These are the keys that you're gonna to need to get the original radio out. And that is the wiring to match it to the correct radio, I think. So this wiring is for that Pioneer radio. And then you've got some extra bolts. Okay, I think we should just get on with the install. But before we do guys, I just wanna ask you, if you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. Subscribe if this is the first video that you're seeing and you wanna see more. Make sure you stick around after because I've got some weird stuff to tell you, kind of upsetting but also exciting as well. Something to do with the Corrado and why the suspension is all taken apart. I'll talk to you guys later about it. Let's get on.
and then you can just take the whole thing out. Uh, that is the radio out. Now, cool little info, these radios you can find in, uh, I think it's like an early Lamborghini Gallardo. I'm done pretending like I know everything about what's going on. I'll be honest, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway, and I'm following Enfig's own guide, which I will highly recommend you go check them out, but I'm showing you guys that it is actually possible to do it with the radio that I've got on these cars because there's not really any homemade DIY videos on a radio change. And let me just grab all the harnesses and things like that. So this is the main harness. This plugs straight into this. Gotta be like that. Come on, in you go, there we go. And we're in. And clipped in like that. This is for the antenna. And this apparently uses like a, a double boost because the antenna in this car is a bit over the top and it needs a booster in it, which I, I, I guess is this thing. That is your little booster turn on wire. So this is the dual end, which plugs straight into here. This is the kit which comes with the radio. So you're gonna need this as well. And this is everything which connects up like your amplifier if you was to have an amp and also the handbrake connection so that you can still touch do the touch screen stuff without having to stop all the time. This little box is for the radio steering wheel controls. And this is the Pioneer one. It tells the box that it's going into a um, Pioneer radio. So that just clips into there and then that goes into the back of the radio. As you can see, these are all kind of labeled up. This one, you just don't touch. Once that's done, that this bit is done. This is the amplifier turn on wire. And what you need to do for your original connection, this is what I had done in the old car, and this is where it plugs into. So amplifier turn on wire, plugs straight into that. Now jumping back to the uh, antenna power converter, you need the blue wire and it goes in the gap so above the red and next to the orange and you just push it in apparently and it will click like that and we're in we've done the antenna we've done the steering wheel control harness oh yeah and we've done the amplifier turn on wire hopefully that is correct from what i'd done previously should work fine so all we need to do is plug the harness from the radio into the harness for the converter and now that we've got the new blue blue wire in there to power the antenna it's all so very confusing in it, but hopefully this should be correct. And this one clips into here. That goes into the actual new radio down here. And then that goes into the antenna. So let me grab the radio and let's plug everything in. Let's get the steering wheel controls. This one goes into wheel remote, maybe. I think it's that one. Then we've got the antenna for the radio, which I believe is this one down here. And then we've got the main power supply. And uh, mine is looking very, very messy. I might get a little zip tie and zip tie wheels together once I know this is all working. That goes into here. And what else have we got left? I think that's everything. I think that's actually the CD player, which obviously isn't going to be used anymore because we seem to have everything else. We've got the antenna. So let me go connect the battery up and we'll see if this works. Where is the key, please? Where did I put my key? The battery's back connected. The car is alive, the radio is not on, but hopefully when I put the key in and turn, it should turn on. What if the steering wheel lock isn't on, that would help. Okay, that is good. Let me just go through all the basics. Let's see if it remembers my Bluetooth. Actually, let's see if the radio works first. Oh, should we try 107.5 again? Let's go back to that funky radio. Ever meet up in a private hey, hey we got it. Does they steering wheel controls work? Online. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, it works. It works. It works. Okay, cool. Steering wheel controls work nice. Do oh wait, does it change song though? If I click this down, so I've got to click it up to change it to the next one. I suppose that makes sense, right? Yeah. So it works. It does work. Um, we got steering wheel controls. We got radio. And does it turn off when I turn the car off? Yes, it does. Finally, for once, an actual install that works as it should. I'm going to unplug everything because we know how it all plugs in. We know how it works. The only thing left in...
well to make it fit in with the original surround because the original radio is so big and bulky i think this this does a really great job of you know just trying to blend it it's all kind of roughly the same color same sort of style as well so same feel as well same texture as soon as you turn the key on uh you need to refill your washer fluids and then after that you can go to your home page and if you want to connect up your phone it'll go on to android auto things like that uh, so i've got normal radio with some funky tunes that i can turn up with my steering wheel controls i no longer have to listen to that because i can go on spotify and i can use my bluetooth to listen to whatever songs i want now which is the whole reason i wanted this in the first place the only thing i haven't connected is a dab aerial i don't know what the um signal is like around here i don't know if it's worth doing it or not because I, I have my phone for bluetooth and normal radio if i need it so yeah this isn't sponsored at all by these guys but I think this is the main kit that you gotta go for if you're gonna install this radio or a similar radio to it. I'm just so happy this is in now. Yeah, I've been giving these headlights a try out from Bosler and it's just to replace the main beam upgrade. I think these ones are H7. Comes with some very funky stickers as well. And it's literally just an LED replacement. Here we go, let's get these changed. Obviously you just got the normal LEDs, yeah? Well, check this out. It looks like a normal bulb now. Watch this. Now we're in France. Looks like predator eyes. That's nuts. How mad is that? So we can either make the car look standard, but with brighter LEDs. We can make it look like we're in France, or we can make them have blue updated LEDs. I think we'll stick with blue, but the yellow is pretty cool. All right, hold my thoughts on that for a moment. Because they're LEDs, the car decided to have a fit. I just went out on a quick drive and came back and it wouldn't stop flashing at me telling me that my front dip beams were out. So I've given Bosdo a message on Instagram to see what they suggest, but I think it's just an Audi thing with LEDs. It, they don't like them unless you wire in resistors. It does not like it at all. Bit of a simple video today, nice and basic, back to calming myself down because I'll show you what the problem was and why I'm kind of stressing myself out. So as you can see over here, you can see I'm kind of in the middle of a job right now, or I was anyway, I was in the middle of a job. I'm now handing the job over to someone else because I'm not gonna be able to do this in the two week time frame I have before Santa Bot. So let me just run you through what I was doing. It all starts off with me getting new spacers. As you can see, a spacer there. All the spacers went on perfectly fine on every single hub, but this one, it was a little bit tight and I can actually show you it now. So this is a normal spacer. This is the correct size for the Corrado. It just doesn't want to go on straight. And that is because the hub is fucked. I've had this problem before where the speed sensor ring, which is this, and that basically tells this sensor how fast the wheel is turning so that the ABS can kick in correctly and all that stuff. So I had the problem in the past, this speed sensor was bent somehow, not me, but somehow it kept scraping on the back and on the actual sensor itself. Each revolve of the wheel, it would scrape and kind of squeak. I fixed that by kind of prying this back this way again but when i put these spacers on because it didn't fit flush i thought cool no problem i'll just i'll put the spacer on and i'll do the bolts up one by one so that it just kind of slowly pushes it in which is fine it didn't do anything wrong to it however me being mr muggins i forgot i had longer extended bolts without the wheel on so basically what happened was the bolts went straight through and bent this ring massively to fix it quickly i got the hammer out and i hammered it backwards in all areas so it's fine now however it's absolutely mushed up the abs sensor so i needed a new abs sensor so as well as a new abs sensor i bought new wheel hubs for both sides and new bearings and that was my job to replace the wheel hubs bearings and abs sensor where did i get to took the top two bolts off of the suspension there i then got to the point where i was trying to do the ball joint however i couldn't get the ball joint out and so i thought okay cool I'll just have to undo these three, but as you can see, these are all, all these bolts are completely rusted and seized together. Uh, so then that made me think, right, I'm gonna need a whole new wishbone then because 
these are rounded i can never take these off so i might as well replace the wishbone because even that is looking pretty sorry for itself i could do with getting some new mounts as well first of all these bolts are rounding secondly this bolt rounded and that was from the heat uh that was from the splash guard shield from the brake disc to top it off the abs sensor bolt rounded as well so i can't actually replace like the three things i wanted to replace i can't so I'm, i've now bought new wishbones new shield oh also did i mention because the hub was seized i had to hammer the brake disc off there was no way around it so the brake disc is now mullered so i've bought new brake discs and pads while i'm there because why not it's just a nightmare it got to the point i think it got to this bolt that bolt rounded and i just i just couldn't be asked i was already at it for about two hours just trying to get all the rusted things off if nothing was rusted it would be easy completely fine and i'd be able to do it but i'm just not up for this torture i can't be asked to put myself through trying to fix rusted bolts and drill out bolts and bore out new things for it because it's just not worth doing for my own mental sanity and this is only the one side i've got to do the other side so yeah i've called someone in to finish the job because it comes to a point where the amount of rusted bolts and things like that like for my own mental sanity i can't do that i'm sorry if there's no upload next week but the week after that we should be back i want to get this turbo in because the turbo is still not in on the little red car just haven't really had the time with everything that's going on oh the turbo's actually sitting up here <laughs> got the old turbo and we've got the new turbo and there's lucy <laughs> wondering why i'm not coming in so that is it thank you guys for watching i'm not even in focus you're gonna focus on me hope to see you soon stick around please don't be annoyed that i'm not uploading much it's just i've got a lot on my mind and i want this car fixed this is my baby this has got to be fixed before anything else thank you for watching guys and i will see you in the next video which will hopefully not be too far away but it probably won't be next week but stick around anyway and i'll see you guys then thanks for watching guys see you later